This is Adel Gasly. I'm going to present to you part 8 of the chapter about transformers. In this part, I will cover the per unit system. In many cases, computation using the actual values of the power system parameters may be time consuming because of different levels of voltage used in the system. However, if the quantities are expressed in a per unit system, computations become much simplified. Any quantity in per unit is defined as the ratio of its actual value over its base value. So to establish a per unit system, it is necessary to select power and voltage base values as follows. The base power as base is equal rated volt amps and the base voltage is the rated voltage. Then base current and base impedance can be calculated as follows. So the base current is the ratio of uh, the base power over the base voltage and the base impedance is the ratio of the base voltage over the base current or the ratio of the square of the base voltage over the base power. Afterward, we can find the per unit values of the equivalent impedances referred to the primary side and refer to the secondary side as shown here. The advantages of using the per unit system are the parameters fall in narrow numerical range. This simplifies computations and make it possible to check the correctness of the computed values. Second, it makes it unnecessary to refer quantities on the high or lower side of the transformer. The second feature will be demonstrated in the next slide. Now we know that Z equivalent 2 in per unit is equal to Z equivalent 2 actual value divided by Z base 2. And we know also that Z equivalent 2 is equal to Z equivalent 1 divided by the square of the turns ratio. And the same thing for Z base 2. Therefore, we obtain the ratio Z equivalent 1 over Z base 1, which is actually Z equivalent 1 in per unit. Therefore, the per unit impedance is the same referred to either side of the transformers. Now, let us analyze the full load copper loss in the per unit system. The full load copper loss, PCU full load, are expressed as the square of the load current on the primary multiplied by the transformer equivalent resistance referred to the primary side. In the per unit system, these losses are expressed as in this equation or this equation. Since I1 for load is equal I base, therefore, we can obtain the following equation, which shows that the full load copper losses are equal to R equivalent 1 in per unit. Hence, we can conclude that the transformer resistance expressed in per unit form also represents the full load copper losses in per unit form. For the case of three-phase system, the single-phase base power is equal to the three-phase base power divided by three. We know that the single-phase base current is the ratio of the single-phase base power over the phase voltage. And we know also that the base impedance is the ratio of the square of the base phase voltage over the single-phase base power. Hence, we can deduce the three-phase system, base current, voltage, and impedance, as shown by these equations. The equivalent circuit of a transformer referred to the primary side is shown in this figure. The equivalent circuit in per unit form is shown here. It has been shown that the voltages, currents, and impedances in per unit representation have the same value whether they are referred to primary or secondary. Hence, the transformer equivalent circuit in per unit form for either side is the one shown in this figure. Note that the values of V1 per unit and V2 per unit are generally close to 1 per unit 
and this makes the analysis somewhat easier. After finishing all calculations in the per unit system, we can easily find their equivalent actual values using their base values. This is the end of this part. Thank you for watching this video.